JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for March the 30th. I am Harald Lambos Pissuros, senior market analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other G10 currencies on Monday during the Asian session Tuesday. It gained versus JPY, SEC and the Euro in that order, while it underperformed versus NOC, NZD, AUD and CAT. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against uh, CHF and GBP. The weakening of the safe haven yen combined with the strengthening of the risk-linked uh, Aussie and Kiwi as well as the strengthening of the oil-linked uh, uh, Crown and Looney suggests that uh, markets traded in a risk-on manner yesterday and today in Asia. Turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that um, most uh, major EU indices uh, traded in the green with the exceptions being Spain, Cybex uh, 35 and the UK's FTSE 100. In the US only Dow Jones closed uh, uh, only the Dow Jones closed uh, positive with both the S&P 500 and Nasdaq sliding 0.09 and 0.60% uh, respectively. Market sentiment improved uh, again during the Asian uh, session today with Japan's Nikkei 225 and China's Shanghai Composite gaining 0.11 and 0.35% uh, respectively. Although most EU indices closed in positive territory, the gains were kept limited as banks, uh, bank shares fell following a warning of significant losses after US-based hedge fund Arche was defaulted on margin, call, on margin calls. Credit Suisse slumped 13.8% uh, uh, and said that while it was prematurely to quantify the resulting loss, it could be highly significant and uh, material to our, um, to our first quarter uh, results. The news weighed on US shares, but market sentiment improved during the Asian session today despite US Treasury yields climbing higher. It seems that market participants uh, didn't did not panic uh, from the rising um, yields uh, this time around as they have started digesting uh, the idea that this, is, this just represents a robust economic recovery and that the US economy is, likely, is, unlike, is unlikely to run too hot. Remember that we have noted several times in the past that inflation fears could ease, uh, uh, could ease uh, soon, something that uh, uh, something that could allow equities and other risk-linked assets to trend uh, north. We based our view on the Fed's uh, stance that any spike in inflation in the months to come is likely to prove to be temporary and that they expect inflation to meet their goal in the years after 2023. What's more, at the press conference following the latest FOMC meeting, Fed Chair Powell noted that it is too early to discuss tapering quantitative easing while uh, the dot plot pointed to no rate hikes even in 2023. Market participants has, have uh, taken the developments with regards to the Archeos fund in uh, stride uh, for now, and if the news dissipates soon, we would expect investors to continue increasing their uh, risk expo exposure and perhaps even at a faster pace. In the FX sphere, we believe that uh, uh, currency pairs that may perform well may be those consisting of a risk-linked currency and a safe haven, the likes of uh, Oz Yen and uh, Kiwi Yen. Now, as uh, for today's events, during the European session, Germany's preliminary, preliminary inflation data for March is coming out. Both the CPA and HICP rates are forecast to have increased 1.7 and 2% 
uh, year over year from 1.3 and 1.6 percent respectively this is likely to raise speculation that eurozone's headline inflation due out on wednesday may also accelerate Tonight, during the Asian session Wednesday, Japan's preliminary industrial production for February is forecast to have fallen 1.2% month over month at a faster pace of decline than January's uh, minus 1% uh, month over month. The official Chinese PMIs for March are also coming out, but no forecast is currently available. The Chinese PMIs have been trending lower recently, and another decline in March may highlight that the world's second largest economy is not recovering at the desired pace. As for the speakers, we have two on today's agenda, and those are New York Fed President John Williams and Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.